I became a patient navigator because of my personal experience. I um, got a promotion at work and it was kind of cool because I sat next to a person that was also needing accommodations because they were always missing work. And so we bonded over that. And then it turned out we rode the same train home. And so um, we got to know each other really well. And now I'm like, so why are you sick all the time? And he told me, oh, I have sarcoidosis. And I'm like, what? Isn't that a thing they made up for house? And he's like, no, it's real. And so he told me about his experience. And that was actually about two years before I got diagnosed. Mm -hmm. And while I was at work, I had a great support system. As long as I showed up to work most of the time, I had this amazing support system. But when I went out on disability, my support system disappeared. Even my fellow Sarki, he, he didn't talk to me if I wasn't at work. I couldn't get a hold of him for anything. And so with my diagnosis, even though I knew someone that had it, I felt abandoned and I felt alone. And um, I just don't want anyone to feel that way. And I have learned um, that the key ingredient in surviving sarcoidosis is hope. Mm -hmm. And so I like to help people find hope however we do that. And I still feel brand baby new as a navigator. I am not uh, the best navigator in the world. I will, I, but I think that if you have a desire to help people, then you'd be a great navigator.